Boys and girls, I have something really pretty to show you guys today. This is a Henry Axe Brass short barreled shotgun. Yes. So anybody who isn't paying attention, the Henry Axe is classified as a firearm. It neither is regulated by the NFA, National Firearms Act, nor does it fall under the purview of the Gun Control Act, the GCA. So it is classified as a firearm. This one has been converted to a short barreled shotgun. So it started life as the firearm strange classification and it has now been converted by the NFA process to a short barreled shotgun. Without going into explicit detail that would get me deplatformed for discussing legal factual information, this was done through the ATF Form 2 process using an 0702 license. But the X starts its life with this dongle and bobber in the place of a stock. It also has a sling stud mounted at its base. The firearm has a barrel length of 15.1 inches and an overall length of 26.4, meeting the aforementioned criteria. As mentioned, the receiver is machine brass, as well as the front bead sight. However, the receiver is drilled for an optic space should you choose to augment it. The Henry Axe has dual loading modes, the side gate for pressing individual shells into the magazine, or a removable mag tube that allows for mass load to full. This is obviously a lever action operated firearm, but includes a big loop to increase mechanical advantage on the mechanism. The action works by manually cycling a hammer, which is aggressively knurled for grip. And like most Henry firearms, the fit and QC leads us through to a very respectable trigger performance. All that said, this piece is chambered to accept two and a half inch shells. And while we're here and I have your attention, I wanna say something for safety because I know that somebody is gonna ask this down below. No. You cannot shoot 44 mag or 44 special out of your 410 chambered shotguns. A 44 magnum has a bullet diameter of 429. The standard land diameter of a 44 magnum is 417. If we go back to the lessons of first grade math, both of those numbers are larger than 410. Now, <laughs> the purpose of today's video is really twofold. <laughs> the first being that I wanted to create a photo op. I, I'll just show you. This is my original Henry Axe, and this gun has been out for years. And as you can see, it's also a short barreled shotgun. <laughs> so basically, I wanted <laughs> to create a photo op between the dark version and the light version. Now that said, this is a brand spanking new gun. I think this just came out this January in the brass receiver. So. Basically, it's the exact same gun in a brass receiver. Now, unfortunately, given the way the situation with ammunition is in the country, we're not gonna get to do a whole lot of shooting of this gun today because I have very few compatible shells, and I will basically bump to a video of when I first got this thing in, testing to see if the shells that I had were compatible because 410 ammunition is nearly impossible to find these days. Game changer. Yeah. Wow. So you don't have to tear your thumb up okay. when you want to drop, what did you say, five? Five. Two. Three. Five. And then if you want to shoot six, you just work it. Right. And then you put the one in the loading gate. Shove one in. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody said crap about them keeping the tube. I'm like, why wouldn't you? How can you say anything bad about this? <laughs> Every American needs to have one of these guns. Yeah, I'm totally SBSing that thing. Like, as soon as I get back to the house, I'm submitting the form. <laughs> I need one of these. Oh, I didn't do it hard enough. That oh, was my fault. Make it up. Yeah. My fault. I was working the action like a little girl. There we go, okay. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's the thing. Well, now we were flawless at first, and now uh, we're no, sticking. No, it won't. It, it doesn't like those shells. It does not. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That one's stuck. So what that is, is you can see the short brass round, there's actually a taper around the rim. And the only thing that I can conclude that this is for 
are those break action shotguns that don't have very good extractors so that you can basically take your fingers and pry it out of the the uh, the breech of the weapon so i find that and neither of these henry axes will this ammunition run and it just it's unfortunate because I have like 2,000 rounds of this stuff and it won't work in any of the guns. And I don't have a gun that does the break action thing. So here I am. That said, I have found a few shells that I believe to be compatible, or at least they should be because they're compatible with the other gun. So here we go. <laughs> Yes, but what we can do with that ammunition that is not compatible is pattern the gun. So, round in, 10 yards, aiming at the sea. Ha! Huh. It ejected that time. And there you have it, looks pretty good. The gun does have removable chokes. I'm not sure which choke comes in at factory, but I will remove that choke and let you guys know what it is. So you have the option to change the patterning to fit your needs. I use my Henry Axe for two things. One, for rabbit hunting. It's a lot of fun to have just a little short gun like that, lightweight, uh, for, particularly because when I rabbit hunt and we hunt with dogs, I like to get right in the thicket. So it's nice to have a short gun and it doesn't need to be a super powerful gun for a rabbit. The other thing I use it for is in the winter time, the way my power lines come in to the house, the, the gutter can, particularly when it freezing rains, can start to weigh down the power line. And when it gets windy, I can literally watch the lights flicker a little bit. I use the Henry Axe to basically shoot the ice that's hanging from the gutter and knock it off of the gutter and the power line. I know that that's probably not an approved way to use it, but hey, it works. And you thought this was here just to mark the placement on the range. Absolutely not. <laughs> Finishing up filming on a different day and the storm is rolling in. So we're gonna try to close this one out and it looks like I cut myself. Uh, regardless, I found some shells in the door of my truck. So they're looking a little bit gamey. So we're gonna see if we can, uh, if she'll handle corroded ammunition. <laughs> Who knows? We'll find out here. Man, I am bleeding all over the place. I don't, I don't know, man. Ooh, I just cut myself again. Ooh, this is not, oh, I smeared all kinds of lube all over this gun. What's wrong with you today, Kurt? I need a towel. Bar towel. <laughs> if you don't get that reference, you're wrong. All right, before I get all kinds of blood all over this thing, good Lord, let's close her out. I'm slipping and sliding all over the place. There's just more and more oil coming out of this thing. I'm gonna have to sit it upright, just let it drain. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I, I'm sorry that I didn't have more ammunition to, to test the gun. We've done previous videos on the Henry Axe. You'll have to go watch those to learn more about it. This is a fun one, but we're just gonna have to look for greener days with better ammo availability. So, and here comes the rain. So thank you guys for watching. Special thanks to our Patreon subscribe star followers that help make videos like this one possible. And uh, Henry Axe, out. <laughs>